Welcome to the world of McClintock, a 1963 cinematic gem that combines comedy, romance, and the Wild West with John Wayne at the helm. This classic film resonates for its humor, lively characters, and an iconic mud fight scene that's etched in many memories. Yet, beyond its entertainment lies a tapestry of lesser known anecdotes. Did you know about the challenges faced during the filming or the improvisations that made it to the final cut? As you reminisce about this movie, is there a specific scene that lingered in your mind long after the credits rolled? Or perhaps there's an intriguing anecdote about its production that fascinates you, adding a new layer of appreciation to this Western comedy. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to McClintock in the comments below. Your stories and reflections could unveil unique perspectives and hidden gems about this cinematic treasure. McClintock is a lively Western comedy released in 1963, directed by Andrew V. McLaglen and starring John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. Set in the Wild West, it follows the story of George Washington McClintock, a wealthy cattle baron dealing with personal and professional challenges. McClintock's exuberant personality clashes with his estranged wife, Catherine, leading to a tumultuous but humorous battle of wills. The film is filled with slapstick humor, fiery dialogue, and memorable moments, including a riotous mud fight. It's known for its charismatic characters, especially McClintock himself, a rugged yet lovable figure embodying the spirit of the Old West. The movie's blend of comedy, romance, and action contributed to its lasting popularity, becoming a staple in the Western genre, and leaving an indelible mark on pop culture, showcasing the dynamics of relationships against the backdrop of a changing frontier society. McClintock remains a classic, cherished for its charm and entertainment value, continuing to captivate audiences decades after its release. John Wayne's iconic use of the term Pilgrim found a rare occurrence in the 1963 movie McClintock. It marked the second and final instance of Wayne using the term, with only one mention, unlike his 23 references in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. The utilization of this distinctive phrase added a subtle but recognizable touch to his character in this Wild West comedy. This particular moment stands out as a unique aspect in Wayne's repertoire of iconic dialogues throughout his career. When Bat Jack, John Wayne's production company, sought completion funds for the Alamo, it turned to United Artists, using the Bat Jack film library as collateral. This move allowed Bat Jack to regain control of its films by making McClintock profitable for United Artists. The 1963 movie, directed by Andrew V. McLaglen and starring John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara, showcases a vibrant narrative set in the Wild West. It follows George Washington McClintock, a wealthy cattle baron navigating personal and professional challenges. McClintock's exuberant persona clashes with his estranged wife, Catherine, leading to a tumultuous yet humorous battle of wills. This film's blend of comedy, romance, and action solidified its lasting popularity in the Western genre, leaving an indelible mark on pop culture. The dynamics of relationships against the backdrop of a changing frontier society remain a central theme in this classic cherished for its charm and entertainment value, captivating audiences even decades after its release. John Wayne's insistence on performing a risky hayloft jump in McClintock showcased his daredevil spirit. Despite studio's concerns, he did it himself, adding authenticity to the scene. This daring move, captured both by Wayne and a stuntman, highlighted his commitment to his craft. The film's success significantly boosted Wayne's career, redeeming losses from the Alamo. However, conflicting claims about John Ford's involvement in directing the movie remain disputed. While Stephanie Powers suggests Ford's brief stint, director Andrew V. McLaglen firmly denies it, asserting his sole direction throughout the shoot. This behind-the-scenes intrigue adds layers to the film's production history, underscoring the complexities of its creation. The 1963 film McClintock holds a notable connection to the earlier movie Hondo. Through several flashback references, it intertwines with Hondo, particularly regarding the Indian chief and John Wayne's character. Michael Pate, portraying the Indian chief in McClintock, also played the same role in Hondo. This linkage between the films adds a layer of continuity, allowing viewers to draw connections between the narratives and characters, creating a subtle but intriguing thread within the Western genre. 
Produced by John Wayne's Batjack Productions for United Artists, McClintock holds an intriguing legal status. While a 1994 legal case deemed the film in the public domain in the U.S., the music score remains under copyright. This legal nuance adds an unusual layer to the film's legacy, allowing its widespread availability while retaining certain rights. The unique situation surrounding its legal status offers a distinct angle to explore the film's journey and impact on audiences, showcasing a blend of accessibility and copyright intricacies within the entertainment industry. John Wayne's insistence on naming the weak, insipid governor is Cuthbert H. Humphrey, aiming for a parody of liberal Senator Hubert H. Humphrey, reveals his personal inclinations influencing character choices in the 1963 movie McClintock. This deliberate naming reflects Wayne's dislike for the senator, adding a layer of political satire within the film's narrative. This choice highlights Wayne's attempt to infuse personal beliefs into character portrayal, showcasing the intertwining of real-world sentiments with cinematic elements. John Wayne had initially set his sights on Henry Hathaway to direct the film, but due to salary disagreements, he turned to Andrew V. McLaglen, son of his old colleague Victor McLaglen. This change marked a pivotal decision that shaped the direction of the 1963 movie McClintock. Directed by McLaglen, McClintock brought together two iconic actresses, Maureen O'Hara and Yvonne DiCarlo, both hailed as queens of Technicolor in their earlier careers. Their presence added depth and charisma to the Wild West narrative. However, behind the scenes, Wayne faced a challenge during a particular scene. Despite attempts, he couldn't get the desired reaction from Big John Hamilton. Resorting to an unconventional tactic, Wayne ended up physically interacting with Hamilton, showcasing the extent of his dedication to perfecting scenes. This directorial shift and the inclusion of these renowned actresses, coupled with Wayne's committed approach to scenes, contributed significantly to the overall texture and impact of McClintock on the Western genre, cementing its enduring legacy. Maureen O'Hara's desire to perform a daring stunt in McClintock sparked controversy behind the scenes. She aimed to leap through a plate glass window, eager to engage in the action herself. However, studio concerns deemed the stunt too perilous even for a trained stuntwoman, let alone O'Hara. Consequently, veteran stuntman Dean Smith stepped in, disguised in O'Hara's clothes, executing the scene in her place. This clash of perspectives on risk and safety highlights the tensions between performers' ambitions and studios' cautious approach to on-set actions. O'Hara's aspiration for a hands-on role in the stunt work underscores the dedication actors often bring to their performances, even when safety concerns intervene. As the curtains draw close on our McClintock journey, take a moment to reminisce about the laughter, the drama, and the poignant moments that etched themselves into the corridors of your memory. This 1963 classic didn't just grace the screens, it waltzed into our hearts, leaving behind a legacy of vibrant characters and timeless storytelling. Perhaps it's the fiery chemistry between John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara that lingers in your thoughts or the uproarious antics that had you chuckling till your sides ached. Maybe it's the vivid landscapes that transported you to the Old West or the resonating themes of love, family, and resilience that struck a chord within you. Whatever your personal tale with McClintock entails, it's a story worth sharing. Whether around a cozy fireplace or amidst the buzz of friends, invite those anecdotes, those moments of connection, to surface. Let's weave a collective tapestry of experiences, celebrating the cinematic gem that continues to captivate audiences across generations. Your reflections, musings, and cherished memories of McClintock are threads that enrich the cinematic legacy, making it a part of your story. So, pen down your thoughts, share your anecdotes, and let's keep the spirit of this timeless classic alive. Thank you for joining in this journey through McClintock, for sharing your passion and nostalgia. Your presence enriches this cinematic conversation, painting it with diverse hues of personal experiences and affection.